Hi, a few days ago I saw a video on YouTube uh, that was about recording anything that basically comes out of your speakers, uh, but it was uh, for a Mac and they used uh, something called Soundflower. Now I'd like to show you the same thing for PC, for Windows. Uh, and basically you don't need anything at all that is not already installed on your machine. First I'll show you how to do this using the Windows Sound Recorder and after that I'll show you how to record directly into um, Ableton Live. First we need to change the default recording device and we do that by right clicking on the little speaker here in the system tray and select recording devices. As you can see there's a list of devices here, this is my microphone, the one I'm speaking in now. There's a line in CD audio and stereo mix. If you don't see these, and especially if you don't see stereo mix, right click and make sure that both of these options are enabled. So it says here, so disabled devices, and this one says, so non-connected devices. So enable both of those and then you will see stereo mix. Once you have stereo mix sewn up, right click it and select, oh yeah, you can't see it now, hold on, I'll switch like that. So now my microphone is the default device and we, we need to make the stereo mix the default device. So right click it and select set as default device. So then it should have that green arrow here. So and basically that's all there is to it. So now we're, now we're ready to record anything that comes out of your speakers. So click on start menu, type in REC rec and you should see the uh, sound recorder. Open that up. I have a video here on YouTube that I want to record something from. I put it at the start. Just hit start recording. Start the video. Save the file, I'm gonna save it on my desktop. It's called Bax Groove. Yeah, there is already a version there. Yep, okay. So now we have that. So now there is one downside that the uh, sound recorder saves the file as a Windows Media Audio WMA file, which uh, cannot be used in Ableton directly. So what I then do is open Adobe Audition but you can use any sound editor and then open the file there it is and you can now edit the file like cut it a bit or something and then save it as a, a WAV file but since I'm here I'll do some editing as you can see the volume is very low so I'll start by increasing the volume. Oops, that's a bit much. Something like that. Then I heard some kind of plop at the very beginning. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Zoom in a bit. There we go. I want to loop this. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, that's almost good. Okay, let's listen to that again. Brr. 
perfect. Now I'm gonna copy this to a new file. Uh, copy to new. There we go. And now I have a copy and that I can save as a WAV file. I'm gonna save it on my desktop again. And call it bags groove. And I'm done. Now I have a WAV file. I don't need to save the WMA file. Uh, nope. So now I'm in Ableton Live. Let's go ahead and find that file we just recorded. Here it is, Bags Groove. Double click it, add it to the to a track. So I went ahead and added some markers, so I adjusted the bass a bit, so the beat aligned a bit better. And then I grabbed some drums, so and this is the result. Next, I want to record audio into Ableton Live directly, and for that I need to make sure that my input is enabled. So in the audio preferences, make sure that this is enabled. Click OK. Close this. And since I'm using Jack for Windows, I need to make sure that the input is routed into Ableton. So let's have a look at Jack for Windows. Uh, as you can see, the stereo mix is still the default recording device. I can close this, don't need it anymore. So this is Jack for Windows. If I open up the connection kit, I can see the system is the stereo mix. So all I need to do is drag this onto Ableton Live and I'm good to go. Now, just in case you might be using Jack for Windows as well, let me quickly show you my setup. As you can see, I have the input and output device set to default, which means the input device will be picked up from whichever device I have set as default here, which in this case is Stereo Mix. The output device, same thing, which is the my speakers here, which are set as the default device. So, just make sure that Stereo Mix is set as the default. Okay, let's close this, close this as well, go back into Ableton, add a new audio track. It is now the audio from is set to external in and set to the one two stereo. That means as you can see it is already moving so you can now hear me speaking. Now the next thing is very important. You see the monitor is set to auto. You need to set it to off. Uh, that is because otherwise, if you would set it to in, and if I would do that right now, let, let's just do that. Again. Hello. Hello. So as you can hear, you could hear my voice twice. So because that's I'm recording uh, the microphone directly, but also Ableton is recording it and sending it back to the master. Uh, and doing that would, uh, once we would start recording, it would create a feedback loop. So. Uh, that's not a good thing. So once the monitor is set to off, I'm going to arm the track. Now I can hit this little button here. Now I'm recording. So let's switch to the web page and start the video. To do the trick. Stop everything. Now that we have something recorded, let's copy it or move it 
to a new audio track so we don't have to change anything here in case we want to record something else it's gonna un unarm this anyway so and now you have uh, something recorded and you can start working with it you know uh, the same as as I did before when using the WAV file from the sound recorder so I hope you found this useful thanks for watching